Hello, good afternoon. I hope you're all having a good bank holiday weekend. Um, lovely sunny day today. Uh, possibly you're all in the garden, I hope. Um, thank you for all the comments that I received on the progress of this um, filter house that I've been putting up together. Um, really, really much appreciate all the comments that you guys are dropping. Um, puts a smile on my face, makes me want to get back out here and look for something to do and just put out another video for yourselves. Um, so what I've been doing today, uh, I put it a, I put a bottom timber bead running, bead running down so the tyres wouldn't stop um, sliding as we was putting them all up. Um, I've unscrewed all that off. I've cut the little uh, trimming to the, to the bottom of it. Put all that into place. Um, it was a small little cut about just under an inch, inch, around an inch and a quarter cut all the way along. And um, just put on some adhesive with gun and just stuck it on there so it wasn't a mixed adhesive on that and i'm out here now also cleaning out the backy shower i'm gonna put that into place and um take it from there i'll just turn you guys around and show you what i've done so i had a timber beam running all the way down there um took that out of place Cut a cut the tiles to the bottom all the way down. Place them, place them all in. So nice, full, full, completely tiled up, full finished. Um, I'm going to be putting some sealant running down here, just to make it a bit more weatherproof. I've just put the backy shower here and I'm gonna give it a rinse, wash it all up, make it look nice and pretty, sparkly, bling bling, all that stuff. shower all cleaned up bling bling sparkle sparkle and I've just put the bottom tray on put the first tier in um, some of you well one of you chaps uh, mentioned that I can not tile behind 
the back here shower um, so it can sit right back. Uh, didn't think um, I should go ahead with that just in case I ever decide to move the back here shower from there and then I have to retire and everything, all that malarkey. So what I've done, I've put these brackets in like that and just bent them down and done one at the other far end and it's not going to go nowhere and I'm going to do that to every single t um, tier so I've just started to wash up the media over here so what I'm going to do now I'm going to fill up that tier put the next one on marking the holes where those brackets are going to get drilled and boom 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 one at a time just do all that so they'll all be solid yesterday last night there was um, quite a lot of wind so I wouldn't really trust to put a backy shower so high um, just leaning up against the wall as you can see as well the whole bottom tray is not sitting on the um, slabs at all so it's not full but most of it is but if you notice the um, the tears they're just about sitting on the slabs so most of the weight will be actually on the slabs um, but those brackets like I said um, are more than secure it's not gonna go absolutely nowhere I hope so I'll just start um, filling this up and get all that up, um, get all that up and running, and just show you guys what it's done, what it looks like once it's done. Okay, catch you in a sec. Okay, as you can see, I filled up the first tier with Momentaro Backy House Media. Um, possibly around 20 maybe slightly over 20 kgs of medium in the first tray so there's four tiers so there's going to be roughly give or take around over 80 kg of media in there so at the moment there's only 50 so just going to fill them up see how much um, what we get up to and then the rest fill it up with um, new media so that's all that so I'm just going to put the second tier on now and as I've mentioned put those brackets in boom second one fill it up third tier book book brackets in again and just work my way up and all done okay so I'll catch you guys in a sec these are the brackets that I'm using so they're like a L kind of bracket so not really big brackets but good enough size I think it's like um, inch and a half two inches each way so that's them brackets and to be able to drill through those mosaic tiles um, use this kind of a special drill piece um, just goes straight through them so that's that you can get them in weeks being cute online okay I'm just once I've put the tear on just going to show you because I'm doing this one handed just going to literally with the pliers hold it from there and bend it right down like that I'm doing it with one hand at the minute so it'll be awkward and that's how the tears will get held okay so let me just get this all finished up and show you the finished um, the finished look So all done, um, the bottom tier full of media over 20 kg, second tier full of media over 20 kg, uh, the third tier the media stops around just under half so I've got no media down from that end and I've got absolutely no media on the top tier. Um, the lid is sitting a little bit funny at the moment 
because I've just spent these in. What I'm going to do, I'm going to lift them up, put the lid down, and just show you actually. So this is what's stopping the lid from sitting down um, flat. Just going to lift them up, slide the lid in, push them down, and all done. So as you can see, I've got no media in there. So now I've just, I'm not sure if you can see, but the bottom tier is just under about a quarter over full. But the rest, if you can see down the sides, that's the, sec that's the um, second tier. Sorry about the zoom there. And you can see the first tier all filled up. So I'm going to roughly hold around over 80 kg, like I've mentioned, um, of Momotaro Backing House Media. And my pond is just under 3,500 gallons. Um, I think it's around. Not exactly quite sure, but I think it's around 3,200, 3,300 gallons, something like that. Um, 80,000, um, sorry, 80 um, kg of media can easily um, handle a 2,500 two foot up from, for, sorry, from 2,500 up to around 4,000 um, gallon pond. So that's more than enough media. So that's all done. And the pipe work that I haven't done anything with, if you guys want to see how I've connected that up, that's in one of my um, previous videos. So this is a 30,000 litre Varpi pump from Evolution Aqua. And over there, it's, no, it's not welded together, so I can literally pop the um, pump off. So if I need to maintain it, clean it out or anything. And it's connected. Um, to a two inch waste pipe running all the way down and from that from this point and that elbow there and the further down there all up that's all welded on so the only bit that's um, friction fitted is literally just the, um, the connection to the pump and um, coming back in here the way I've done this this is just temporary fix at the minute so the inlet is from the bottom down there and it's coming straight up up here and then going back down from outside both back into the um, backy shower and um, the reason why I put this up so high is because I'll be building an upflow filter right in that corner I'm just waiting on some parts some fittings to come so I haven't um, managed to get that up and running yet. There we have it. Beautiful back in shower, back up and running. Looking all good. I'm gonna just go around, have a look for any leaks. Um, there shouldn't be, all the easies are tightened up really nice, but they're very easy. If there's any leak in them, you just tighten them up and they'll automatically stop so that's the backy shower back up looking really cool I'll be honest with you I actually for about two weeks I haven't had this on and I kind of miss it so that's all that it'll look much more prettier once we got this net off so there we have it nice Backy back on. So I'm just gonna get some more media so I can put into there. It won't be just as yet. I'll do an update on it and show you guys when I get that media in. So that's all looking lovely again. So all that's done. I've got the timbers for the frames that I'm gonna be making for the windows. So I'm gonna be cracking on with that now. I've started with the windows and the window ledges. I've put the window ledge in, cut it all down, screwed it in. All nice, all above here is gonna get all sealed now all down here as well as I mentioned before 
it's all going to get all sealed up and started on the windows three of them are done I've got a few to do almost halfway there I'll just bring you over here and show you exactly what I'm doing let me just pop you on the tripod okay what I've done here this is the frame of the um, windows um, the actual frame of the window is two two by one and the inside two little frames they're one by one and a half inch by 38 mil and I've just basically put two screws on all the bottoms where all the frames are meeting together like that obviously I've had to pre-drill so we don't break the damage the timber so pre-drill first and then after screw them down and I've used 40 mil screws 4 by 40 screws for them wood screws and after all simple stuff just um, put this sheet on this is called floor protecting sheets you can find them in Selco or Wix um, just put them down like this and then simply with a staple gun I'm using 3 mil staples just getting it lined up nicely like this one staple on one corner come over to the other corner another staple there make sure it's nice and flush one on the other end and then after just staple them all around as many staples as you want um, and then also staple in between here as well where the timbers are in inside the inner frame and then simply just get a sim piece of timber or so and just put it down with your standing knife cut it down and you'll have a shoji kind of a window look so i'll just go inside and show you exactly how they look here i got a little bit carried away um, I started doing them all one by one, one by one, and I thought, oh, hold on a minute, I haven't done no recording. So, these are the windows in here. I haven't pushed these in yet. I'm going to put handles on them here, inside. One here, and um, one on the either end. So, if it gets too hot in here, boof, just literally take them off. They'll come off like this. And it will be like that. So I've done this, done the same over here. This side, these will be fitted in, fixed in, sorry. So I'm just going to screw them in from the actual frames. Boof, boof, down. And these ones ain't going to be screwed in. They're a nice cut inside, as I just showed you. So I can just pull them out when it's some gets a bit hot in here and I'm going to be doing the same with the ones in the front um, this section here this is going to be fitted fixed in this section here is going to be fixed in as well just come out I'm going to be making the door frame from the exactly the same size timbers that I'm going to be using which are over here okay all the windows are all done the doors in finally took me absolutely made me absolutely bonkers getting this door on I think it took me like two days just to put the door on so doors are in windows in all finished up so I can literally get in there now and get away from the misses so might even put a bed in there to be honest with you looks so cozy so 
So let's just go in there. It's a sliding door. So I've just put a sliding door in there. Got a little remote for the light. Let there be light. How chuffed about that. Just a normal light on there. But like that. So after making the door frame, how uh, exactly how I made the windows. Um I purchased this bar from Amazon, which is a perfect fit going all the way along so the door actually slides all the way down yeah it's not now at the minute because there's a sponge stopping it there but slides all the way down and it just slides obviously all the way back and just at the bottom there just put a little block and put my foot in push and that's all closed up so this side's looking in here. Really Japanese look, in my opinion. So I've also started, well I've finished all the insulation in here. All the leftover ones. As you can see some of them have got holes in them from before. So they're not new, but it'll do. It's more, much more insulated in here now. So I've put them all in, all the way around, all there, all up there as well. So all the walls are literally insulated. The only part that's not is this here. This is double boarded, plied on wood, wood, plywood, sorry, on each side. So, and the other bit that I have not insulated yet is just that part there. Um, the reason why I haven't done that is because I'm going to be connecting up the bio chamber to the Nexus. Um, it's going to be a four inch coming in and it's going to split to two inches going out. So I haven't done the pipe work yet, yeah? ain't got around to that beauty. So I'm going to be working on that soon, I hope. Um, what else? These are the composite cladding that I've managed to get hold of they're from Enviro Build and they're amazing quality um, I recommend you guys if you're gonna look at any sort of composite cladding these are the guys to have a look for these are their samples um, this is the color that I'll be going for it's like a charcoal kind of grey and it will be a very nice contrast with the brickwork outside. These are the colors that they do come in. So if anyone is interested in any, any kind of color, um, these are what they do. This is the Pioneer collection. And um, they also have another collection. I totally forgot what it's called, but they've got two different types of um, composite cladding. And one of them is, um, basically for more fireproof um, kind of stuff so so I'm gonna go with the Pioneer um, so that's that um, that should be arriving hopefully next week so all the cladding should be done as well um, so that's all that in there looking really nice nicely organized in there lots of room in there as I've mentioned in pre um, previous clip um, the upflow filter is going to be there um, I didn't have all the parts to it uh, received everything now I've got everything I need so I'm gonna be building it right over there I've actually drawn a little diagram this door by the way that door frame came with um, a door handle um, it actually comes with a whole kit everything you need so um, I'm not going to be putting that on I actually fancy it without the um, door handle so coming back to what I was saying the upflow filter I've just drawn a little kind of a diagram of um, what I'm going to be doing 
something like that so I've basically watched a couple of videos on YouTube um, especially Steve's um, righty um, spoken with him a few as well um, very helpful tips he's given me so it's none of my invention or anything just the ideas that I've been watching I'm just gonna put it up myself so and, and it also costs cheaper than a Tempest so but anyway that's another story not saying anything bad about the boys at Evolution Aqua you look at all my collection Evolution Aqua, Evolution Aqua, controllers, Evolution Aqua, blah 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 blah. blah. So it just goes on and on. Um, so yeah, I just want to build my own one after watching um, Righty's um, build on one of them. So that's that. So that's going to be the upflow filter. Um, so yeah, all the windows and everything's all done. All the insulation, everything's all done. Didn't make much video of um, putting these insulation boards on. They're very simple. Uh, um, I got these ones from B and Q. You can get them anywhere. Um, I've seen them in Wix, Selco. They all sell it. Um, ones in B and Q. They're twenty quid a pack, and I think you get six to eight of them. Six to eight balls of them, and very simple to cut they come in white or gray i like the color gray so i've gone with gray um if you watch um darby Coy's video um he's gone on putting same kind of stuff um into his filter house and they're white and if you look um watch his video um it was like it was snowing in his garden and my garden it looks like i've had a bonfire and all the ashes have gone everywhere so, so that's all that everything in progress all the inside nicely insulated windows are all done doors in place i um, just gonna wait for the cladding and get that in as well and then it's all nice all done I've also put the um, sealant ain't done a good job here I've just literally smothered it all over it's actually all nice and dry now you can see how clean my fingers are as well nice and clean yeah yeah so that's all done as well um i was gonna seal up here all along down there but after my professional sealing work here i've decided not to seal that so i don't make a big mess of it so i'm just gonna leave it alone and um, hopefully it'll be all fine if not we'll have to worry about it when it comes to that Um, another thing, um, this video, um, I started making all this about eight days ago and I've actually decided that I'm going to be selling this backy shower um, after having a nice feature wall like that, putting the backy shower there, I think it's kind of sport to look a little bit, so that's going to be for sale. If anyone's interested, um, you can pop a comment on the comment section down below and we can take it from there. Gonna be selling the lot with a spray bar, four tiers and the bottom weir. Um, none of the media inside there. Um, something was gonna be going there and something's gonna be going there but anyway that's another story so if anyone's interested in um, this backy shower um, just let me know like I said and we can take it from there so that's about it for today um, last little peek at the fishies just before we go they're all doing fine I'm actually excited to pull some of these fish out and start inspecting them and also measuring them up especially the Karashigwe that I haven't got around to and also with the latest um, collection coming in where is she where's lady there she is underneath the Karashigwe 
looking really nice measure her up see if she's grown a little piece since we got her yeah so that's all that coming to an end now thank you very much for watching this um video um if you haven't subscribed um, please remember to subscribe uh, hit the bell button so you can get notified when i upload the next video uh, if you like the video give us a thumbs up if you don't like the video give us a thumbs down either thumbs no probs so thank you very much and all take care I just forgot um, before I go um, I'd like to say thank you very much for everyone subscribing to the channel um, I've hit a thousand subscribers I'm really chuffed about that um, didn't think I will hit a thousand subscribers to be honest with you um, when I started it was a little mess about my son um, saying to me I won't even get a hundred subscribers so all a bit of fun um, well, you know it I've got a thousand subscribers now so i must be doing something right um so i want to say thank you very much for everyone subscribing everyone sticking with me um really much appreciate it um yeah so thank you and i'll just show you guys um the gift um that i'm going to be sending out to one of you lucky chaps um or ladies um so yeah i'll just show you the gift and um thank you very much okay after looking at my ugly face the gift where is it i've got all these boxes here i don't even know what's what anymore to be honest with you um where is this gift where is this gift oh hi where is the gift All at the bottom, always has to be at the bottom, wouldn't it? Okay, let's just get there. Sorry about this, guys. Just gonna have to be patient. Oh, there it is. Okay, all these parts, I've just ordered them all. Oh, Quinny Koi, they will know if I need them to be honest with you. There's the gift. Let's just open up the gift and um, show you before we go. 